Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. In this video, we will try to solve a programming question that was asked in Navi's interview. So as you can see, here is uh, anonymous user on the lead code has posted his interview experience at Navi. So if you are from India, you must be aware that Navi is a financial services uh, founded by Sachin Bansal who after leaving from Flipkart, I think he has founded this and it's a very well paying organization. So if you are, you know, currently interviewing or preparing for interviews for your JavaScript interview, you can definitely try to solve the ask question that was, you know, asked for different employees. And uh, I think lead code is the best platform where users anonymously post what they have been asked to do. So if I see this right, uh, so there were I think four rounds and in this I think there are two questions that were problem solving questions. Three questions are there. So first is the live coding round. I think this is a, a complete coding round. It was asked for two hours. Second is a simple component creation. So if you see right here they have asked to create a progress bar that will take n seconds to complete and the next so basically the question says that there is a button on that button click uh, a new entry for the progress bar will be added and the moment a new entry is added right the progress bar will start creating so but you can keep on clicking the button and all the remaining entries will be queued and once the current progress bar is done animating the next one will start so this is the one question uh, we'll solve this also but in this video, what we'll solve is, is the second question. So here, if you see, they have asked uh, to create or to showcase the working of method chaining. So if you see, this is a method chaining example where we can add any number of methods available. And then there is a value method that's returning the calculation. So after performing this calculation, the value method is returning the sum and the expected output is something like this. So let me copy this. Let's go to code pen and let's try to solve this. So the question and the example or the sample output. So if you see right, uh, here we have a function compute amount. Now this compute amount is invoked as a normal function. On that there is chain of methods. So that's why I call this example as a method chaining. So in the um, JavaScript or in the technical terms, uh, this is referred as method chaining only. And this is uh, built with builder design pattern. So it is one of the famous design pattern that is widely used uh, in the strictly type languages like Java. And we can also use it in other programming language. So in JavaScript, it's very flexible to create a builder design pattern and use it. So here you see there are a chain of methods available. Now, if I can see right, there is one method called lakhs, then crore, and then thousand. So if you see right, lakhs is called twice, but on different times, and then crore is called and thousand is called. So basically what this function is doing is it calling that method lakhs, it's taking a number and it's converting that number to lakhs. So basically this will become 15 lakhs, this will become 5 crore and this will become 2 crore. And what it's doing it, it's doing the total of all the methods that are invoked. And finally there is a termination method which is value. So what value does is value will return the final output and the final output. So if you console log this total, you will get this in the numerical format. So if you see here 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 7, 14 crores. So as I can see right in the sample output, it's 14 crore, then lakhs are 15 lakhs plus 20 lakhs, that's 35 lakhs, and then finally 45,000. So the final output is 14 crore, 35 lakhs and 45,000. So here, if I see the problem statement, right, the compute amount is returning something and on that return, return output, there is methods applied. So the period operator or this dot operator only works on the objects in JavaScript. Okay. So if there is an object route, you can use the period operator to access its property or methods. 
so if we see here we can examine that the compute amount is returning an object and that object has method lacks pro thousand and value but the interesting thing is the compute amount is returning an object and we are uh, attaching the period operator on that and accessing the lax method but the lax is also returning an object that's why we are able to attach a period operator and then use the crow on that so this is a simple example of method chaining let's see how we can solve this step by step so the first thing is the compute amount is returning an object so let's create a object now the functions right all these methods so this will be all the input value will be summed together so i am creating a variable inside this object and initializing it with the zero value so that in this variable or in this property uh, we can store the sum of all the methods now let's add the lax method to it so i am creating lax and and i am passing a function to it so it will become a method now here we have to add this in the total so what i'll do is i'll do total plus and equal to now you cannot access total like this because it's not declared as a variable we have to access the total that belongs to this temp function so what we do is we basically use the this property and access the total so this inside a function that is defined under an object refers to its parent object only so if you invoke this right in this function so this will refer to this parent object or temp that's why i am able to access this dot total now when the function is defined in this function and it's not a fat arrow so in that case this refers to the parent object now the value of this differs and it is one of the most misunderstood thing in javascript so to understand that i'll create a detailed video but for this example let's just say that this is referring to this object and we are able to access its property and the functions so this dot total plus number and then we have to convert it into that much lax because this is a lax function so what i'll do is i'll use the math.pow and here basically we'll say 10 and then we'll create a uh, lax out of it so lax has i think five zeros let's see 10 100 1000 10000 lax so it has five zeros so we'll just convert this to lax so math.pow will return 1 lakh here and then that 1 lakh will be multiplied with the number and then it will be added to the sum. Now all we have to do is we have to return the value of this from it. So as I already explained right this inside the function or the method refers to the parent object. So when we return this right then we can add the further change to that. So because it is returning object only what I can do is I can use the period operator or the dot operator and access the properties of the parent object. So I can either call this total or this lax function or any other function that this object has. So let's create the remaining three functions because in the chain all four functions or all four methods will be used. So here we have lax. Let's go to crore and then thousand so thousand has three zeros and crore has seven zeros let's just confirm once ten hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs crore so it becomes three plus four seven yeah now ultimately value is our termination function because in value we won't be returning this so the further chaining won't happen so what we'll do here is we'll say value and in the value we'll return just the total now our method is or sorry our object is ready now let's try and invoke this so let's copy this and comment that out too 
now let's use this temp object here and see if the temp is doing the processing and returning the output that we are expecting unexpected token this okay thousand is there spelling mistake sorry my bad is there any more My bad, the spelling of return is misspelled. So we are getting the output here. So if you can see, we are getting the output 14 lakh, 14 crores, 35 lakhs, and 45,000. Now, the original in the original question, uh, we are asked to invoke this as a function, and that function on that function the chaining should happen so all we have to do is we have to wrap this object inside the function compute amount and at the end we will just return this from the function so every time function is invoked a new object will be created and that object will be returned now on this object we can add our chaining so if i remove this or replace this with the function this should work as expected so we are getting the output now this termination function right this termination function is the end for this chain only okay so what we mean by this chain let me show you by example so let's say if i remove this right and let's say compute object so compute amount has returned an object here now amount okay let me rename this properly so compute amount has returned an object now if i say let total equal to so we are doing the same thing but what we are doing is we are extracting the object and saving it in a variable and after that on that variable we are assigning the method chain so I am getting the output as expected now so this is the termination for this object now what we what if you know I just use the same object that we have stored in the variable and add a new chain to that on the second line or in a different execution so let's say if I add a crore here let's say I add 5 crores and then I do the value right total 2 and here I, let's add total so here i am getting the output as 19 crore so if you see right because we are using the same object the method chain termination only happens for this value method on that given chain on the next execution if you are using the same object right because you are using the same object it's remembering the value in this total and that's why if you assign a new chain right it will carry forward the sum so that's why we are getting this output as 19 crores now this is the one way so where we have invoked this function as a normal invocation in another case we can invoke this function as a constructor and that constructor will return as a object and on the same object we can perform the similar thing so all we have to do is right we have to convert this to a constructor function so let me copy this and let's comment this out too for now and let's create a constructor function so rather than returning an object right from here what we'll do is we'll say this dot total now if you are aware so when a function is invoked as constructor in javascript right it returns a new instance of this every time so a fresh object will be returned now this refers to the current scope and the way the function is invoked right so if it is invoked as normal function this will refer to the global object if it is invoked as constructor this will refer as a new object 
so here this will refer to the new object and the same thing is happening on the new object a total property is assigned similarly on the new object lax property is assigned and here we'll add a semicolon now we are adding a new method throw and that too will work the similar to the one we have done for the method sorry for the object here too and then finally here as well now these all so this property and these methods are assigned to the this and when this compute amount will be invoked as a constructor this will refer to a new object that new object will have this property and the method and it will be returned from the function so let's just change one line over here let me so i'm just changing this to capital case just to make sure that this is invoked as a constructor okay now here if i change this and i add a new keyword to that that means this will be invoked as a constructor and then the constructor will return the object so if i undo this we should get the same output which is 14 crore and then 19 crore so this is how you can solve this problem i hope you have learned something new in the next video we'll see how we can implement this as well where we have to create or animate elements in sequence and on the button click the element count should be queuable thank you for your time